Hey, this is Adam Hickman from Foxhound Bee Company. This is showing you our queen bank. So at Foxhound, we sell a lot of queens and uh, we tend to bank them for as little time as possible. But this is just a, a shot of us pulling queens. So uh, we've got a, a great blog talking about how to bank queens. But this is a great time just to kind of show you what we do and, and talk through it. There's a lot of different ways to, to bank queens. And uh, this is uh, one of the ways that we will do it. So you can see this is a, just a 10 frame deep box and it's got eight deep frames in it. There's no queen walking around laying eggs. We just load it with open and cat brood every week or so. So we'll put like a frame in there that's about to hatch out. And doing this allows us to have plenty of nurse bees to take care of these queens in cages. So you can see this frame. This is our queen banking frame. This is one way that we will bank queens. Sometimes we will uh, actually take these orange bars and just put them on the bottom, but we'll typically only do that if we're using a, a double deep queen bank. But even then we still don't have a laying queen. We just want to load it with nurse bees. You can get, you have a chance of your queens being killed if you have a laying queen in there. It does happen sometimes. But so this is just a deep frame and we've updated the frame and modified it to hold the JZBZ queen cage holder. So that's the orange part that you see right there. So uh, these are JZBZ cages and you can see they're kind of designed differently than those wooden cages you might be familiar with. So there's basically three parts of this cage. So there's the tube that has the candy for time release in it. And then it has a solid piece of plastic there where the queen can retreat. And then it also has like an open grid where the queen can actually touch the worker bees. So we like these cages a lot more than the wooden cages, mostly because of, there's a place for the queen to retreat to so that if she doesn't want to be touched or messed with or the bees are aggressive towards her, she can kind of hide. But when she is ready to be fed and touched, she can go to that part and actually touch the bees through that screen. And then there's the tube full of candy. So when we pull these queens for uh, customers, uh, like if we need 10 queens for the day for, for pickup, we will pull them out of the, the bars right there, those orange bars, and we'll just set them on top of the top bars. And because this is like loaded with nurse bees, what happens is those nurse bees will walk up to the top of the frame and they'll just cover the queen cage. Um, so when we sell these queens, we want them to be plenty of tendons. None of these queens have attendants inside the cage with them. They're all on the outside and that's the way that we, we like it. If you're shipping queens, you want, it's better to have the queens on the inside, but we're not shipping queens. So we just do local pickup. These bags, they work great for us. So we put, you know, two or three in a bag and then full of attendants. And these little bags have a little window pane and it's perfect. We really like those a, a lot and it, it works really well for us. We're happy with it and it gives us a way to show the customers what they're getting. So you can see the little window right there on the bag. We fold these up and we write however many queens are, are in the bag on the front there. And we'll just show the customer exactly how to install a JZBZ cage and works great. So you can see that there's a little bit of a gap there and that's okay. Like we just kind of manage it. If there's any burr comb, we just kind of close it. Um, but we like to, using a queen frame, we like to leave space for two frames. In there, we take out two and we put in one queen cage. So hopefully you found that helpful and we appreciate it. Always watch your back, back, back.